The new Netflix romantic comedy tells a story of a go-getter L.A. wine executive who signs on to work at an Australian sheep farm to win over a major client, where she sparks with a rugged and mysterious local. I watched the new film A Perfect Pairing. Should you? Let's find out. How's it going, movie watchers? Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. Today we're talking about the new Netflix romantic comedy, A Perfect Pairing. This feels like a Hallmark film where we have Victoria Justice, who quits her job as a LA wine executive. She goes to Australia to try to win over a major client, ends up working there, and falls in love. I'm not against these Hallmark style romantic comedies on Netflix. I watch them, they're enjoyable for what they are. Some are just, just don't make sense. And that's kind of how I felt about this film, is that uh, the relationship between Victoria Justice and Adam DeMose honestly felt very, very forced. Uh, when they meet in the beginning of the film, it's strictly business. She wants to win over this big client. He needs help. So she helps out in hopes that they can discuss wine. But uh, the situations between the two ultimately feel forced to where there doesn't really feel like there's any natural spark amongst the two and we know what's going to happen you know they're going to fall in love you know she's going to have to go back to la she's got to make that choice so we see this progression of this relationship that's supposed to make them fall in love and i just do not feel that they're both very nice the acting's decent within this film and there's nothing really wrong with the characters they just don't feel like a match within this film. And the film hardly ever makes it feel like there are sparks just going off for these two. And I rarely ever felt that they were madly in love with each other. So since I know where the story is going to go, I don't think that the characters were taken with it. Uh, yes, they had some fun moments. They, She learned about sheeps and she helped out a lot and she learned a lot as well. But I never felt like they were just in love with each other. I felt like it was just business and she was there to try to win over this client and he had some help along the way. And that was ultimately about it for the characters within this film. But since the relationship does feel forced, a lot of the situations that these two people are in feels forced as well. And that in turn makes a lot of the dialogue very cheesy. It makes it uh, for some ridiculous moments, moments that just, I don't know, believe that would actually happen that someone from LA who wants to win over a major wine client would spend several weeks in a different country trying to help out, just trying to win over that major client. It seems like it's just all very forced, not only the characters in that relationship, but just the story overall. And in turn, it just makes a lot of the the moments between the two, like I said, forced, but very cliche, very ridiculous. And I know that this is one of those romantic comedies that you're just kind of turn off your mind and enjoy it for what it is. I understand that. And I do that for some films along the way. I don't watch all the Hallmark films, but the Netflix films do feel like that. And if they don't make the most sense ever, I don't really buy into it too much. I like Victoria Justice in here. You can tell she was very eager to win over this wine client. In the beginning of the film, she, uh, in the beginning of the film, one of her coworkers crossed her and she left her job and went to Australia. And she's eager to try to win over that client. She's always getting involved in something, always cracking jokes. Very lighthearted character, Adam Demos. He, on the other hand, uh, was very stiff in the beginning of the film and he obviously lightened up and that's where the relationship starts to like grow for them too they start to become friends and but it still feels like it's just about business it never feels like they are in love i didn't have any problems with the acting i thought it was decent enough for these characters two different characters two different backgrounds but when you look at the whole film she has an agenda she came to win over this wine client she falls in love along the way 
but that's not like the major thing about this movie. So overall, a perfect pairing, I think is easily a forgettable film. Some people who are diehard Hallmark fans may enjoy this film, but I found the relationship ultimately to be very forced. The acting was decent. The scenery looked great. There's a lot of beautiful shots within this movie, but the characters weren't taken in a way that it felt natural. There was really no spark. You just did not feel that love within this movie. Despite a great chance for them to grow as characters, I just didn't feel that within this movie. So I just didn't really care much for this film. Some people may, but it wasn't for me. So before I give you my score for a perfect pairing on Netflix, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit the subscribe button to get it all in one spot. And if you'd like to see where a perfect pairing ranks amongst all the other 2022 releases I have seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm gonna go ahead and give a perfect pairing a C. Thank you guys for checking my review for a perfect pairing on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.